Yo, Flight Sports TV, man. Happy to be with the people again today, man. I'm putting out a nice video, man. We're going to touch on Luka Doncic. You know, uh, we're going to figure out, can this continue in the playoffs? You know, he's having an unbelievable season. I was, I was, I'm, I was very critical of his play, you know, because, you know, the new kid on the block, I was looking at him with the third eye, you know. That magic eye, I got to watch him, you know. I wanted to see more, you know. Um, so I, I was concerned, I, you know, because I thought he was maybe getting a little too much hype a little too soon. Um, but let's 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 take a look at it and let's analyze it. Um, I still I still feel that he's not a top five or a top ten player yet, but he's on the way there if he continues this. Um, let's before we get into the topic. Um, I want you to hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. It's Flight Sports TV. You don't want to miss the uh, the exclusive. S series, exclusive series here at Flight Sports TV. Underrated is an understatement. We got a new episode coming next after this. Subscribe so you don't miss. Um, donate to this channel. All donations are appreciated. Donation box will be in the description box below this video, also in the comment section. I see a lot of people. Um, let's just get right into the topic. Um, also, support the merchandise store. You know, the, that's up. I got the sweatsuits on right now for 85 I got, got a couple of colorways on there right now. Shopping the merchandise store. All right. Um, let's get right into it. Now, Now, Luka Doncic, I'm not even going to lie. I, I was touching on a lot of videos with Luka. And I'm not going to lie. It's like my videos have obviously been flagged. You know, people have probably reported me for whatever reason. I didn't do anything wrong, but people have been flagging my videos. So hit that like button so I know we're in the building. So my viewers has kind of like been like, it's like my previous videos, like I'm doing like 20, 30, like 50 views. You know, I used to do that in like 30 minutes, you know. I used to get 50, 60 views in like 25 minutes, like quick, fast, in a hurry. You know, so I just looked at, you know, uh, what's going on, how do YouTube do, do things and w w when people could try to manipulate the system, you know. So I've been kind of jerked around just for just for disagreeing with everybody else in the basketball world. So, I mean, you know, it's tough not when you try to voice your opinion and, and for it to go that far. You know, I'm not here just taking shots at nobody. I'm not saying that no controversial craziness. You know, I'm just discussing basketball. That's a relevant topic right now. Luka Doncic has been compared to some of the great, some of the some of the top players in the NBA today and past. So, of course, I'm gonna say, hey, let's let's, let's slow this thing down a minute. You know, um, number one, I, I do believe that the Dallas Mavericks are overachieving. You know, not to say that they're not to say that they're um, a bad team. And there's a difference between being a, a, a great team and just overachieving. You know. There's a lot of teams that overachieved in, in the history of basketball. You know, I look at the Miami Heat. I think they're overachieving, you know, today, right now. You know, there's a lot of overachieving teams, like teams that just shoot out of nowhere. Like, oh, wow. You know, a couple of teams like the Dallas. I'm not Dallas. Um, well, they are too, but you look at these surprise teams. You look at Phoenix. They was on that on that trajectory of overachieving before DeAndre Ayton really screwed Phoenix because they, they really had a chance to supplant their flag in the Western Conference. We'll get into that in another video. Uh, Minnesota, they've they've been overachieving. Guys like um, Wiggins helping them him reach to his limit. So the same goes for Dallas. I feel Dallas is overachieving, large part on the back of Luka Doncic. You know, um, like I said, he's he's been playing well. So I just want to ask you guys a question. Can this continue in the playoffs? I say yes and no. No with an explanation point. It all depends on the matchup. I'm looking at the city right now. They, they, like I said, they've been overachieving. The teams at the top are not really, you know, low management. A lot of teams are not really caring about seeding. So the top teams, like the Clippers, I don't really feel they care too much about seedings, you know. I don't think they care about 
All right, but another two seed, third seed. I think the Clippers would be cool if they finish in a four or five. Uh, to be honest with you, it wouldn't make a difference. The Clippers are going to be a tough matchup. You know who's the real two best teams in the West. You know, it's just like in the East. You know who the you know who are the heavyweights. You know, you got these surprise overachieving squads. You know, so um, like I said, you know they play. They've been beating up on bad teams, Dallas. You know they they they, they um, beat up on New Orleans again this year. I don't know what the hell is going on with New Orleans. I just think they should let Zion probably just sit out the season. But it all that team is not right until Zion gets back. So they will continue to struggle. You know, so just looking at the matchups, you know, I believe, it, well, if the playoffs was to start today, I believe they would play Phoenix. Of course, they would be Phoenix, Dallas. I don't, Dallas, Phoenix and Minnesota are in the seventh and eighth at the moment if we was to start the playoffs today. Like I told you guys in my previous content, the, the season is still young. What are we, 20 games in now? A little, little about 20, 20 games. So we just kind of get into the first half, you know, um, Almost creeping up or closing the first half of the season. So, uh, you, know, you, you look at that, um, San Antonio, you know, Portland, Oklahoma City are like right on their heels on the, in the seven. And I, like I said, I see Phoenix and Minnesota just losing. They, those teams have no business sniffing the playoffs. Dallas was another team as well, but Dallas seems like if they continue this, We'll see what happens. They're going to have a tough, tough uh, schedule. Their schedule should, should, like, stiffen up a little bit. Pause. Like, it should get a little hard for them, you know, so that these wins and the shit and go as, as convincingly as it's been, you know. Um, you get in that comment section, you let me know, Can you do you believe this can continue in the playoffs? It's Flight Sports TV. You know I mean? um, like I said, I I feel like they can't beat San Antonio in the playoffs. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, just like I like I stated before, it's it's too many guys that could could get in front of him in the playoffs. See, like I said, you look at a team like um, I I believe if they play Portland in the playoffs, I believe it would just be a slugfest. But I believe Portland would would, would emerge victorious in that slugfest because I just believe Damian Lillard is pound for pound better than Luka Doncic. You know, I, I really believe that. You know, uh, so that's why I said if if it just because Portland is, I'm not sure defensively how it would be. I believe on the inside with, with White side, he should shut things down for uh, make things tough for 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 snacks, uh, Chris snacks. He should make he should make things easy, uh, difficult for him. And Chris Snacks is really just riding the pond right now. He's riding Lucas' wave. Chris Snacks haven't done really much of shit, much of nothing. You know, garbage. You know, he's just you know just a, a serviceable role player. You know, making a hundred plus million. We're gonna get to him too. Hopefully, you know, he close to on that borderline of stealing money. It's time to step up for him. You know, because pl- playoff season, <laughs> he gonna. <laughs> Well, you you know what time it is. Um, so uh, like I said, and if it was if they play Portland, I just look at it just a, a all out slugfest because I'm not sure how Portland is defensively uh, on the perimeter with um, with the loss of Rodney Hood tearing his Achilles. So that's one less guy to defend um, guys on the perimeter. So I just look at it as an all out slugfest. You know, just um, an exciting series. But I believe Portland with Damian Lillard and C.J. McCollum, along with uh, Carmelo Anthony, to back them up. You know, I just would feel like that that would be too much, uh, too much in the arsenal for Dallas. You know, in in, in an all-out slugfest and like damn near a shootout. It would be if they played Portland in the first round. Just I'm just the fast forward, and uh, you know, if something was to go down, you look at a team like Houston again. I look at it. Houston don't play no defense. I, I look at it as being an all-out slugfest. You know, um, I'm not sure if um, he, you know Houston. I believe will would emerge victorious because I, cause pound for pound, James Harden is better than Luka Doncic. You know, so I believe if it just the fact that these two teams aren't going to play the most bit of defense, I feel like it would just be a shootout. And I believe you're not going to you're not going to really out shoot out Houston in a shootout. You know, so. You know, it is what it is. You know, um, they can't compete with the, with the Los Angeles Clippers. That would just be an all-out sweep. 
in the first round. You look at a team like Denver. I look at Denver as able to possibly sweep the Dallas Mavericks as well because the thing with Denver is Denver has a lot of players that some of y'all are not familiar with who can defend all him. Luka, Luka Doncic, a lot of those guards and defenders, they got some ferocious guards out there that they can just go one by one by one just deploying a different guy in front of him and they just wear him the hell out. You know, that could possibly be a four four game sweep or a five sweep, you know. Obviously the Lakers that'll be a sweep. I know that they beat him in the regular season, but come on in the playoffs, let's be real here. You know, um looking back down at the teams not in the playoffs right now, um I believe if they played um the the uh, Oklahoma City Thunder that could be a tough matchup for them. You know, um you know because it's still not going to be easy. They have some defenders out there that could that could possibly stay stay with Luka and lock down in the playoffs. And I know that Luka Doncic is, is cool and all. I know that Chris Paul has kind of seemed like um, a distant memory in our in our minds, but I, I would trust Chris Paul in the first round of the playoffs against Dallas over Luka Doncic. In the first, if they was to match up, we just brainstorming. If the clip, if if, if Oklahoma City and uh, Dallas played in the first round. Because just looking at the seedings, I'm just trying to, like, fast forward the season. I look at, um, I think that would be a, a tough matchup for Dallas. Because you got Steven Adams, you got some guys down low for Porzingis and the crew. And then you're looking at um, this guy, um, Gildress Alexander, he can defend. You got Chris Paul, he can defend. You got Ferguson. You got um, you got a lot of pieces over there that could really make things difficult. You got Diallo. That's what I'm saying. It's, it, I'm talking about if they were locked down in the playoffs, I think that could be a, a, a huge upset, you know, because the thing with Dallas is you're going to have to have to have multiple bodies to deploy at this guy to like because you really don't want to rely on one person, you know. You want to have multiple bodies, and I feel Dallas needs to, you know, they, they gonna, they're going to be in a tough situation if they're locked in the playoffs with teams that could that could deploy multiple bodies at this guy. Okay, this guy, fresh by the fresh defenders coming one by one by one. So that's what I feel is going to be a tough match. So I don't see Dallas doing much in the playoffs. I feel that they're going to get locked down in a tough matchup in the first round, you know, and I feel like they're going to be swept four games to zero. And it would be uh, a situation where Luka Doncic and the Mavericks, you know, get their bones and come back next season as one of the better teams in the league. But it won't be this year. Um, I do see a four-game sweep in the horizon for the Dallas Mavericks. You know, like I said, Luka Doncic is, is he's playing exceptional. But let's let's see how this continues in the playoffs. We've had many many great players in the history of this game, and when they got to the playoffs. You know, you saw what happens. It's a, it's a progression. You know, you can't skip steps in this game. And the same rules apply for Mr. Luka Doncic. You know, so let's see what happens. But that's my predictions. Y'all get in the comments section. Let's decipher this. Let's talk. You know, this this fight sports TV. we interactive over here. This this your channel. This is not my channel. I'm just the guy to do the talking. You know, um, definitely donate. You know, um, the link will be in the description box below this video. Hit me in the cash app, YoungAK516. Also, it'll be in, in the comment section. Get up with the merchandise store. The merchandise store is up and running. We got the sweatsuits out right now. We got three to four colorways popping right now. You know, um, $85 a pop. You know, shopping the merchandise store. Flight Sports TV.